Welcome back again. Uh, we're here discussing um, something with somebody again. Um, and yes, our very, very special guest is uh, Alma Horstma. Um, and she'll be joining us and talking a bit about creativity and mental health. Um, she's been on countless pieces of television, mainly drama, um, but somewhat recently she's been focusing on reality television as well. And yes, uh, welcome, welcome Alma. Hi. Hi, Werner. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your chat this morning. Um, I am definitely not, a, not an important person. I am just a normal <laughs> out of work actress at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone else sitting at home. Um, no, it's interesting times, but it's, it's very nice to be able to, to share my ideas with you today. Thank you. Yeah, welcome to this. And um, as you know, the themes are about creativity and mental health, um, which is not necessarily always connected. Um, but I feel more often than not, uh, it's better to connect basic things back together just to, make, to simplify things. So, um, in a nutshell, maybe give, give like a give the most. Well, this is just a different question, but give the most concise answer to how creativity is present in your life. Because I'm an actress, I I never stop thinking about creating things and doing new things, new ideas. I, I have a very big imagination and I see um, so many pictures in my head <laughs> every moment of the day. Um, but I must tell you in this time, you know, when we heard the lockdown was going to happen and um, in that first week especially, then you look on, uh, you look at social media and you look at, at what people are starting to do and you you suddenly get this um my throat was was uh, i couldn't breathe your keel het toegedraak. yeah my keel had toegedraak because people are doing so many things and they are just being so creative suddenly and it's it's just the thought of how am i going to be like that how am i going to cope with this situation because um you, you don't necessarily trust yourself to be uh, that creative Die ding is aan die begin van die lockdown het, het ek gekyk na wat mense doen op, op sociale media en op Facebook en so en, en die mense keel trek toe, want jy sien hoe kreatief ander mense raak en, en jy dink jy moet iets doen, jy het nou 21 dae en, en jy moet iets create, want jy kan nie hierdie sien as vakantie nie, jy sit nou by die huis en you must make a count en mentally is dit a Dit was vir my een baie groot challenge om om hierdie aan te pak, want waar begin jy? Uh, gaan jy nou sommer net sit en skryf om wat jy moet? Gaan jy sommer net sit en dink aan een show wat jy moet? Um, en my approach was in die begin om um, wat ek besluit het is be gentle with yourself. <laughs> It's okay not ja. to immediately be creative. Yeah. Um, dit, dit gaan een proces wees en jy gaan jyself, jy gaan jyself baie, baie gentle, gently daar deur moet kry. Yeah. So, um, ja, so, so dit is een op en af tyd gewees in termen van creatief te wees en om jou kop recht te hou om creatief te bly yeah. en te raak. Dit is wat mens uh, in, in sielkunde at least, is dit wat sielkundig is vir jou probeer tyf in hulle at least van oor imaginative therapy um, mm. waar jy waar glad nie aan iets anders denk behalwe een spasie een specifieke spasie wat net jou nou is um, a safe space wat vir jou alles gee wat jy moet he in die oom jy moet dit baie conscience jy moet dit, jy moet dit baie bewustelik doen mm. jy moet baie bewustelik vir jouself een spasie gee maar jy moet ook baie bewustelik focus, want wat ek gevind het, my focus is is, is glad nie daar op die stadium is, is, is in hierdie tyd het ek, het ek, I've, I've got a split focus, I'm all over the place want dan begin ek bykie skryf en dan dan is, 
dan klik my foon en dan kyk ek na, en dan skiel ek, dan begin ek na die nies kyk. En dan begin ek na, um, kyk wat aangaan in die wereld. Op die ouwe einde, dan vergeet jy van jou werk. So, die les wat ek nou begin leer, en, en wat nou vir my begin werk is, en wat ek al baie gehoor het is, <laughs> sit op jou stoel, en focus, en vat alle, uh, alle afleidings weg. Wat jou foon weg, sit om buiten die kamer vir een uur of twee. It's okay, the world can do without you for an hour and a half. And just write something, just do something. And when you start to do it, then then it will help you to continue. And then maybe you will get into the space and you will be more creative in that matter. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. Um, any any gems you'll be producing in the future? Enige... <laughs> <laughs> En ek het diamante in die, in die grof. Wat? Wow. Um, my, my saving grace was that I I have a wonderful friend, uh, Leafy Sahi. She, uh, she's also an actress and she was my daughter in uh, Isidingo. She played the role of my daughter. And, you know, since uh, we've been working there, we've been talking a lot about ideas and things that we want to say to the world. And we both have a great passion for for talking to women about stuff we're going through ideas we have and you, you know issues that we have and so we've been we've been talking the, the first week also also we want to do a drama course so in the first week we worked every day for two hours on that course to uh, to tell children, especially for children who wants to go, for children who want, especially for children who want to go and study drama, is to tell them what are the pros, what are the cons. So we've been working on that. Okay. And well, um, also, um, is it is there a specific date we should be looking no. out for? <laughs> there was a date. Oh. The, and the date was the 11th of May. <laughs> um, we were going to go mm-hmm. to a school. <laughs> But alas, that's see, not going to happen. See local now. listings. It, um, it's happening this weekend. <laughs> but which is very interesting. Also, okay. The, the other thing we're working on also is is um, uh, a woman a show for women that you know one of those motivational shows that we can do at uh, uh, Women's Morning where women drink tea and eat cake and just you know have that time for themselves but once again that's not gonna happen so um, yeah so what we had to work with is yes we have that idea but nothing and that is the the reality for everyone this time nothing can stay the same we need to figure out how to move forward how how are we going to do this now with the situation we're in Mm. and and that takes a while to, to figure out in your head. I could know eerst a, a dag terug het ek, het ek weer een braad idee gekry, miskien oor hoe ons hierdie ding kan doen um, ja. in, in, in conjunction with each other, but also apart. Want jy kan nie by mekaar uitkom nie. Mm. So, ja, ja, so, so das, das mens dink aan nieuwe planne. Mm. Wat vir my positief is, and, and which I, I know everyone is going through and, and we all have to think of new plans mm-hmm. yeah yeah um i think the most what we can do is simplify it like i said um you know the only thing in the day is to we can dear track and say that we're not silken the of the of this is not the the time or place for something but it is all that we have now so how can we make it easier Ek wanneer wat ek, wat ek nogal achterkom is die inhoud van dit wat jy sê, die inhoud van dit wat jy wou gesê het, um, op een kreatieve manier, verander, want niks is meer die self doen nie. So, wat, wat, wat vir my, wat ek denk die mens moet doen, is gebruik wat jy het. Ons is nou in hierdie tyd, so, moet nie wegskram daarvan af nie, bring dit in jou show in. Hoe verander dit jou as a mens en hoe verander dit jou denkweise en, en so en, en use what you have and bring it into what you want to say. Want weer eens, um, ek het nou die dag daar Brene Brown se 
they localize their rare vulnerability. And vulnerability is um gestroop to be is. Mm. Yeah, gestroop, yeah, yeah, stop being fake. Just be real. Yeah. And that, yeah. and that um, verursaak that you can compassion he, and that verursaak that you more creative can be and that you more can connect with people. And maybe is that what we now now have to do. It's just to be vulnerable. I stem Sam Jotmol what met what you say it is belangrijk om te kan focus op wat jy het. Ehm um, nie nie om te focus op wat jou vorige standaarde was met wie jy alles kon doen nie. Want dan was dan was kwaliteit quality was of the utmost because you have all of the options to get there. Ehm um, en ek ek voel dis belangrijk om nou te verstaan dis mense wat jy meer connect nou. Dis nie meer die die, die Dit was nog altijd zo, so, maar nu is die die kwaliteit vereist is is minder. So die so die, yeah. so die emphasis om bij mensen te connect is baie meer op die eind van die dag, want dit is basis wat ons als een mensdom nou voor maak. Absoluut. En en het is amazing hoe hoe mense maniere kry om te connect in hierdie tyd. Uh, om om met mense te praat oor waarmee jy nooit sal praat vir langer as 2 minute um, oor die foon nie, waar jy nou skielik met mense uh, uh, whatsapp call het. Mm. Jou mense wat oor see is, jou vriende, jou... En, en hierdie gesprek sal vir... <laughs> Geloof my, ek het al een 5 uur gesprek gehad in hierdie tyd. Yo. Ek en my man met, met vriende van ons. En, en dis ongelooflik, want Dat is niks anders wat jou, ja, ja, fijn, mens moet aan jou werk en, en, en jy kan ook nou nie net leeg leen nie, maar op daai oomlik is daar niks anders wat jou aandag aftrek nie, so dit, dit dwing jou om te connect met mense en dit dwing jou om anders te kyk na mense mm-hmm. en dit is vir my eigenlijk baie mooi in hierdie tyd, mm-hmm. is, is om daai, ja, dit is mooi, mens kyk anders, jy kyk anders. Mm-hmm vir my wat belangrijk is, is geestelike gezondheid, in alle aspekte, en ek denk, vir mense wat nie net wendig dit altyd a prioriteit maak nie, maak het nogal, uh, is het nogal forcerend vir hulle ook, om uit hulle comfortzone te kom, al is het technisch, alles wat nou in hulle comfortzone inkom, basis, ehm, um, en ek dink, dit kan nog wel challenging ook wees vir mense wat nie net wendig baie kreatief is nie, al forseer het hulle om meer kreatief te wees. Um, dit forseer ook mense wat nie net wendig baie na hulle self kijk nie om baie meer so te doen. Um, en ek dink dit is nogal ook waar mense vandag een boodskap moet hee, of een message moet kry. Um, en wat sal jy sê is een message vir mense wat wat baie meer geïsoleerd leven by hulle self, wat nou skielik al hierdie aandag krijg, en meer op hulle self focus. Um, wat sal jy sê, is coping mechanisms vir mense wat nou nie so kreatief is, soos, soos vir mense wat ek en jy? Ek dink nie, dis net wendig nodig, dat jy een kreatieve mens moet wees, om te kan koop met hierdie situasie nie. Wat ek dink, raad dat ek kan gee aan, aan mense is om as jy ma is, as jy pa is, in whichever situation you are, um, is om rechtig te probeer om een spuis te kry, evers in jou, in jou situas, evers in jou huis, kry een spuis, um, iets wat ek wat ek hierdie week gedoen het, ek het een puzzle gebouw van een duizend stikke, <laughs> en ek het om een drie dag, drie dag klaar gebouw, um, ja, dankie, dit was fantastisch, om iets as dit te doen, om jou, om jou kop net bykie weg te vat, iets as een puzzle daar, of iets as, uh, ek doen, ek probeer mediteer, ek het een app, uh, Headspace, wat ek gebruik, hmm. ek, ek en, word gereeld um, op YouTube verriteer met dat, en. ja, ja, dit is, maar, maar dit, dit help my, hmm. want, oh. want dit is, dit is vir my, uh, ek is nou nog nie een van die, uh, meditatie fundies, wat, wat alles op my eie kan doen, ek hou daarvan een bykie guided meditation te hee. So, uh, ek luister 15 minuten daarna, maak my oor toe, all deep awesome, just, um, I'm just creating a space for myself to relax. 
en ek dink dit is belangrijk dat mense nie hulle self moet, hulle moet nie te hard wees op hulle self nie, it's no. ok, it's ok not to be ok now, nie een van ons is rarig ok nie, ons is amper bykie, bykie opgemoos op hierdie stadion. En dit is nogal prominent my nou, um, oor wat jy sê, amal van ons raak so is, we're all technically uh, feel insane, but it just means we're technically in a mental institution getting better. Uh, and it, it just feels yeah. like the, it just feels like the same one all around the world. Yeah, and the thing is, ons, ons is allemaal hier in. And weet jy wat, maar iemand het, ek het nou die dag ding gelees van wat iemand sê is, dit is nou, dit is baie makkelijk vir allemaal om te sê, um, we're in the same boat, maar in die waarheid is ons nie allemaal in die selfde boekie nie, ons is allemaal in die selfde storm, mm. en dit is nogal vir, dit is my baie mooi prentjie, want, want ja, baie van ons het die leksheid om nou te sit en werk, en, en, en ek bedoel dit, leksheid beteken, ek het nog steeds die stress van, van om nie te werk en alles nie, maar, maar ek is gemakkelijk en ek is baie dankbaar daarvoor, ek is gemakkelijk, ek het genoeg kost en ek het die dak oor my kop en ek het die tuin, my ja. mense het nie hierdie goed nie, ja. so um, ons het allemaal different coping mechanisms in hierdie tijd, maar uh, ja, dit is erg belangrijk dat ons it's fun to be creative in this time, en as jy kan doen dit, denk aan iets wat jy kan doen, uh, begin teken, begin ek weet nie, skryf net iets neer, dit hoef nie iets te beteken nie, hmm. maar dit gaan vir jou iets beteken. Ja, so, um, the concept of diarizing thing and mm. um, keeping a diary is not necessarily to achieve one specific thing with what you're writing not to yeah. keep a full record of everything yes. it's to express you at that moment it's so simple to diarize and it, it might be intimidating especially because getting to a diary space or Dit, dit kan intimiderend raak om net by dit uit te kom, yeah. want op die eind yeah. van die dag is het jou eie gedagtes wat jy by uitkom yeah. um, en ek dink vir baie mense is dit moeilik om hier daar uit te kom maar die oomlik as jy dit doen is dit so vryend en dit is so kalmerend op die einde van die dag en dit, dit na yeah. een ruk, as jy dit gereeld genoeg doen, raak het integraal na jou dag, it becomes an assistance to finish your day Yeah, absolutely. Or, or to start your day, um, uh, Tim Ferriss, uh, ons luister nogal baie wel, in die tyd wat ons nog ver kon rui, <laughs> dan is het lekker vir, vir ons om een podcast te luister in die kar, en Tim Ferriss het nogal interessante podcast wat hy gesels met mm. very, like, like people from, from every part of life, and mm. that inspires him. If you write down 10 ideas, in the morning. I mean, apart from from doing a journal and and writing about your own life, as you net opstaan in tien ideas neerskryf. Sê yeah. nou maar wat ek byvoorbeeld gedoen het is is om te kyk na my kamer. In die oggend toe ek wakker word en ek ek het tien ideas neergeskryf oor hoe gaan ek hierdie kamer kan beter maak met wat ek het in die huis. And um, one of them was go and get a plant from the outside or um, maybe I should paint this cupboard grey want daar is grijs verf in die kas uh, miskien moet ek ander kom baas oor die bed sit it, things like that, very small things but it dit maak jou brein wakker mm. that's something that I've learned with creativity as well um, on my computer I have like 10 shows 10 written shows in in klomp bykies bykies parts of shows that I've written which I will never use ever in my life. I will never go and perform that. But the one thing that I wrote led to the next thing. It will focus you. It will maybe get you in focus for the day. Dit gaan jou rustig maak en dit gaan jou net plaas in hierdie situasie. And it will bring you back to your own reality. For example, this is my safe space. <laughs> it can become your prison after a week or two then you have to cre- create something else or like you said go outside and and sit on a broken chair it doesn't matter just go to another place you think really it's it's important to to stay creative 
um, for your mental health status, um, so to speak. Um, no, I completely agree with you, Vanner. Uh, if I weren't creative in this time, I might have gone crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, and there are many places to, to be creative. If, if you're not an actress, if you're not a writer, or um, not inclined to doing things like, like people in, in our industry do, go and make an interesting meal or, you know, go and, and build a puzzle or paint something or just make a, a pencil drawing or write something interesting about your life in, um, in a book. There are many ways to be creative, but it will surely help you. The best cure for cabin fever is just changing the cabin at this point. Yeah. Um, Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Thank you once again, um, Alma, for joining us. It's been a real pleasure, a real treat. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you again. Hopefully uh, we'll we'll keep up to date on on what you're doing, and and we'll hopefully talk about that in future if you if all of your your lockdown gems are produced. <laughs> Well, we can only hope, man. And thank you so much for, for chatting to me. It's also, it's very inspiring to think about these things. So so I think um, you helped me in a, in a big way to, to think about what I'm going to do next. So thank you and um, take care. Mm, pleasure. And yeah, take care on your side. And yeah, um, thank, you. thank you for joining in once again, audience. Um, hope you're keeping safe. Hope you're keeping clean. Um, and yeah, remember to change your cabin regularly. Oh.